Hi and welcome back to the this video tutorial series. Um, we're going to make the shoe now. I'm going to create that in a separate 3ds Max file. I've already done this tutorial and I did make the shoe. However, um, I forgot to turn my mic on and for that reason I have to do this again. I'll show you the one that I did make. Ended up looking like this. Okay. But I'm going to just redo it very quickly to show you how I did it. Um, I brought an image plane here, I'm going to freeze that actually. I'm not going to explain how I did that because I've already done that in the first video of this series. Uh, what I did was I created a box and made sure I can actually go to object properties and uh, make sure making sure that these are op these objects uh, these options are all available so I can set see through or shortcut alt X convert it to editable poly and put on a few subdivisions in there maybe something like that and then just getting the vert mode going to vert mode and then uh, playing around with these a little bit um, what I'm doing here is I want to select this edge this corner edge I know this is too thin for a shoe, but we'll fix it, it's not a problem. Um, I want to select this edge, but I'm in my orthographic viewport, in my front viewport, and I cannot see that edge. So what I do is I select the, I select these series of edges, making sure that the edge that I want to select is also being selected. What I have, I have five edges selected. Um, that's one here, and then another one on the other side, which makes it two this and the one behind it which make them four and then the edge that I want to select so if I show you one two three four five okay because I know the edge that I want to select is selected I could just deselect everything else and then that's done so I'm going to do that with both of these two edges and I'm going to chamfer that and then I'm going to go to bird mode again and just play around with these a tiny bit I'm trying to get a good shape there maybe uh, chamfer that corner edge there as well so I could put a, a little curve here as well so that's okay ish um, I'm, 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 what do I want to do now what I want to do let's go to the top viewport and just expand this a little bit so that it kind of has a thickness of a uh, of a shoe, maybe a little tiny bit more. Um, what I'm going to do now is I want to uh, let's have a look. Go to top view and put two connections there. Maybe that's three, two. So I could bring these vertices back a little bit, so it kind of has a curved look, and a little, and the same thing here, just so it kind of curves a little bit. What I may also want to do, actually this is the front, so this needs to curve a little bit more compared to these ones. Okay, um, what, I, uh, what I may also want to do is to go ahead and select these edges over here and run a line between them, just one though, not two, just one, that's enough. Also, I may want to connect these lines here as well, which means if I was to select, because the problem here is, if I was to show you, uh, I have a series of edges here, and I have a series of edges here, but if I was to select this one polygon, for example, hold control and click on um, vert mode while I'm holding control, it will select all the vertices connected to that polygon and I can see that's five I want four so I could go ahead and select these edges the same thing actually goes with the other side I could either do them at the same time I could just put a symmetry in between it doesn't really matter put one connection between and then actually not those connect them <coughs> Okay, what I may also want to do is to select these side uh, edges and just bring them down a little bit. So again, it kind of has a curved look. And I may also drag these in. I must be in the vert mode to do that. 
just being creative. Well, it's not really being creative. I'm just being um. Just paying a little bit of at paying attention to, to to detail, just a tiny bit. Okay. And then what I want to do, I want to go to. my polygon mode and select these polygons and then um, just extrude them out a little bit um, I will put these vertices over here maybe just bring these guys a tiny bit higher and just bring these up as well maybe push them inwards a tiny bit See, remember every time I'm making a selection on a vert, I'm not just um, clicking on a vert. Because if I do, I'm only selecting this vert. You've got to have in mind that there's a vert on the other side as well. So by clicking and dragging from an empty space and making sure that there is a selection box around those vertices, it selects them both. So don't just click on it. Okay, click and drag. Okay. Um, now I want to... Extrude this bit, bring him up, put that over there maybe, and extrude that again, I guess. Put that over here, put that over there, bring these down a tiny bit. Okay, what I may also want to do is select these polygons, just scale them in a little bit. Actually, maybe just the middle ones. Okay, let's see how this looks when it's mesh smooth. Mm, not perfect, but not bad either. I seem to have a problem here again. This polygon here is not for, is that a quad? Uh, hold control, uh, click on vert mode, it has five. And uh, for that reason, I think there's the same situation here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select this in a ring. How I'm doing is I'm selecting it, holding shift and click. Again, if you have any problems in terms of what shortcuts I'm pressing, uh, you got to look at the bottom left corner here. Um, again, for these tutorials, I'm considering you, or I'm assuming that you already have a uh, good knowledge of the US Max. And make just a single connection there and select this bird to this bird and then connect that to that and then click connect. Now, if I go to Okay, that looks better. Um, so that's how that looks. Also, what you could do here is put a FFD box of um, maybe four by four, get the control points and just manipulate these around. Because for example, because you know, shoes have, uh, it's either for your left foot or your right foot, so they kind of, they don't have perfect symmetry. So you may wanna do something like that to kind of um, change it a little bit and because you have a FFD here you could just go and, and um, manipulate the overall shape of the shoe in any way or form that you want again as I said we are using that just as a, uh, a reference we don't have to stick to it so um, you know you could you're free to go ahead and, and manipulate this in any way you want you want to delete the mesh smooth and convert it to a poly so now I have these two and uh, they kind of look almost identical but you can see there's a little bit of a difference in topology as well but I'm gonna delete the old one and I wanna unfreeze all so I unfreeze the uh, image plane and I delete that because I only want the shoe there and I'm gonna say file save you need to save as but I had already saved it anyway okay I'm gonna pause this here and then I'm gonna go to the uh, original 3s max file and we are going to bring this in and then attach it to the to the um, 
uh, to the third and uh, take it from there. See you soon.